Bomberman, a really fucking cool deck. Um, Eric Berlitz here, he's going to go over it. Um, and I'm probably going to die a lot to it, so tune in for that. And John is probably going to put up a good fight. We have uh, Paige here also, who's going to get some matches in. So let us know what you think, and if you have any requests for matchups during this, let us know. We'll try to get them in against Bomberman. So Eric, go ahead and uh, tell us about the deck. Yeah, so... Uh... Bomberman is actually a really old combo based around Ariok Salvagers and either Black Lotus or Lion's Eye Diamond. Um, the artifact that makes three mana then can be returned for two mana, netting you one mana in the process each time. Um, it used to kill with Pyrite Spellbomb, which is why it's called Bomberman. Uh, now we have Walking Ballista, which again can be returned from the graveyard with Salvagers, can be made infinitely large and deal infinite amounts of damage. The combo can also produce infinite creatures of infinite size with Monastery Mentor. And uh, Karn rounds out our business spells. Um, he can pump out tokens that are larger than Gurmags and uh, also get the job done. Um, you can return artifacts to pump Karn as well. Um, a lot of times when, you, when you're on the Karn plane, you end up not cracking your bobbles. Um, and if you don't have... A kill card like Mentor or Ballista, if you do have one of these bobbles, uh, you can essentially draw your deck so you'll kill the next turn. So it's kind of like a, a slow combo. And there is a ninth bobble, Lodestone Bobble, um, which has a sneaky use as a kill condition. Uh, it actually targets up to zero basic land cards in a single graveyard, and that player has to draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. So you can force your opponent to deck themselves, uh, and that will also get around things like Leyline of Sanctity or Solitary Confinement um, or Glacial Chasm. Um, because we're running so many humans, we get Cavern of Souls. There's some humans in the sideboard too. We have Fast Artifact Mana along with Soul Lands, and then um, an Artifact Land as well to uh, raise the consistency of Mox Opal and Punk Guard tokens. And I think that's basically it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have our first matchup against Miracles. Um, I'm going to give everybody just a couple of minutes to shuffle their decks. Oh, yeah, I, I did forget to mention we're also a Chalice deck, so we have four Oh, chalice. yeah, that thing. Yeah. How could you forget? Yeah. That and, and now, chalice. Also, because of the printing of Ballista, you can actually be a Chalice deck now. Instead of before yep. with Pirate Spellbomb, you could not do that. So it helps the existence of this deck, basically. Yeah, you don't need a one-mana kill card. Um and the bliss is just better in every way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> bliss is busted. <laughs> Especially with soul lands. In this matchup, I think counter souls is like the most important card. Oh yeah. I mean, if I can't counter salvagers, then I'll probably just die on the spot most of the time. Unless I get a situation where I can counter the LED or something, but still. And also counterbalance is pretty good as long as it can be one zero. Yeah, thankfully people haven't been playing very many. It's like a two of sideboard mostly. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah, it's very good. It is in the main deck of this version, so that is something to keep in mind. Yeah, I like to think Bomberman's the best Chalice deck, but it loses to every other Chalice deck. Yeah, because it's Chalice on zero. Chalice on zero shuts off like 40 other cards in the deck. <laughs> Anybody playing against Bomberman, you did not hear that. <laughs> Chalice on zero, just go. <laughs> yeah, it, it always feels really good to be at a large tournament and lose the die roll and then have your opponent go turn one Chalice on one. Yeah. You're like, like, oh, yeah. thank God. Thank God, they don't know. I'm so glad I lost the die roll. Yeah, then you go to a local <laughs> tournament and they're just like, Chalice on zero, Chalice on one, go. Nope. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, uh, I top three, or top four, three quest for powers last year. Yeah. And uh, when I go to the locals in Frederick, I go to them too. Like, yeah. Everybody knows what it is and how to play against it now. Right. Are we doing uh, just best of threes? Or? Yeah, best yeah. of three. Okay. I find that people's attention span is even, right there. Even or odd? Uh, odd. Okay, I'm All right. going to play.
Okay. Okay, my hand was like Jace, Jace, Counterspell, Counterspell, AK, Island, no one mana spells. <laughs> uh, just miracles things. So, gentlemen's agreement not to look at the yeah, 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 hands yeah, on the yeah, screen. Yeah. I don't look at it, my eyesight's not good enough to know what the hell's in your hand anymore. <laughs> This one's cry. Bottom. Thunder. Human? Yep. Good. Good. 18. Yep. Enjoy. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't, it was it was blind, so I didn't know what was on top. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's very likely I die here, but snap ponder. Yep. No, those are turning this. Poor brainstorm. For that matter. I was thinking so long about playing Mentor turn one, but I figured I would use the cavern. Go. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'll look at a random card in your hand. Yeah. And then I'll look at a random card in your hand if you want to shuffle it again. least one force. Uh, upkeep two bobble triggers. Yep. Uh, this was bobble trigger. Yep. Cavern on construct. Yep. Plus 16. Yep. Plus X equals 2. Yep. Shoot, snapcaster. Yep. Uh, attack for 11. Yep. Go ahead. Alright, Doc. Do your upkeep out with the top card you're library. Yep, you're gonna find out if it's terminus before I do. Okay. <laughs> that one it. Um Alright, let me think for a second. I'll cast that for your game. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, you can pump too. Well, I mean, I, I drew back to basics, so like, I was like oh. doing the math if I was dead regardless, so. Matchup. I'm gonna bring in these because those are good. And that, I guess. Oops. I'm gonna bring in anything else. This. Travis, are you still going to Niagara? I think so. I'm actually um, going to go with Jared to the uh, leaving, leaving the Legacy Open in uh, uh, Boston. In, uh, I think it's two weeks, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So, and I absolutely hate riding on planes, and he's going to make me get on a plane for this. But For Niagara Falls, he won't let you drive? No, no, no. I'm, I'm taking a plane to uh, Boston. Oh, Boston's to Boston? Only, it's yeah. Too I, I hate planes. You could take a train straight to Boston, I though. Could, like, you wouldn't yeah, even have to get I off could. of it. Maybe. Maybe I'll talk to him about that. <laughs> you, you should do that. It's it's so nice. Like every every seat on the on the train is like a first class seat on the plane. Yeah. I I, yeah, I, that's I, true. I love flying. I can't stand it. But I also like driving because driving is more fun with a bunch of friends. And... Yeah. I drove to Toronto once. Yeah, that's so, not too bad. That's not too John's terrible. making me fly to LA, so yeah. like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I, yeah, I've been to LA a bunch, and that's six hours I don't want to do it again. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, <laughs> my longest plane ride's been 45 minutes to like South Carolina, and it was awful. Longest? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, we're doing E3 this year, so it's my, since my first year being full-time at Bethesda. Uh, with like time to sign up to like go to E3 and whatnot, so Great. that'll be fun. Ugh. I'm just a tag along. This is so close. Oh, I can't keep it. I got six ten. Like I have to like draw land. I see can draw to make it good. And... Equals one. 
19. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah, I played my land this turn already, so go. I'll do the top third of your library. Yeah, that's fine. Bubble trigger. Draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, I can. Yeah. Two mana floating. Yeah. Throw my script trigger. That's fine. Yep. 
It's six actually, because they count themselves. Cause they're oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So I drew a brainstorm, so <clears throat> I need to think about basically if I wanted to brainstorm during your during your turn to try and blind flip a terminus. If I want to do it now, but I don't think there's any reason for me to do it now. Cause even if I get a land. Well so if I like brainstorm and in, into mentor I guess technically I'm okay. I don't die, so it's right to just do it now. This one. Mm -hmm. I guess that helps too. Mm -hmm. Two bits of target. Surgical targeting. Lines are then. I'm at uh, uh, 10. Mm -hmm. Check for 
could have known. Ambush Viper. I'm not going to disenchant one of the tokens. No, uh, it's better than Ambush Viper. Yeah. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So, I take five. Wait. So, one, two, three, four. Four. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I made four. the token to make yep. it lethal. Yeah. Okay. Go. Uh, yeah, I'm just dead. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, when I was playing this deck, um, I was having a lot of trouble with Miracles when people started playing it again because of yeah. Back to Basics. Yeah. Figured out Karn is actually the key to Back to Basics because it usually just sticks up and draws land. Um, but I ripped a couple timely soul lands there and was able to down tick Karn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I was like, I've, I've seen the recent deck list of that and I just like feel like it's, pr this is probably just not a good matchup. So, <laughs> uh, it's just like so tough. To yeah. Beat, especially um, with Cavernous Souls. Like Cavernous Souls makes it basically impossible. Yeah, Cavernous Souls is really important. Your, the, your mentors are usually better than mine. Um, you're able to make more tokens usually, so... Mentor's really good. 